Hi guys, I'm Danny West and you're back with another episode of The Soapbox, your patient education station. And today we're talking about why V-sits are not my favorite and how I'd rather teach what's called a U-sit or in Pilates lingo, a teaser. So I want you to remember kind of what we were working on with our cinnamon bun, with our candy cane, and if you're like, what is this chick talking about? you might have a few soapboxes to catch up on. So um, what we're talking about is basically we want to start to sequence the spine vertebrae by vertebrae in and out of spinal flexion. It's a great way to strengthen up the deep spinal stabilizers or one of our main core muscles called our multifidus. Um, and this is another way we can start to strengthen the core, again, not abs. And I really love these U-sits or teasers over a V-sit because what ends up happening in a V-sit is people tend to get really grippy through the hip flexors and they arch their back, which causes the hip flexors to kind of grip even more. So it looks like a V-sit, but actually with a few little nuances, I'm gonna show you how I prefer a U-sit and how if you master it, it can really take it out of the hip flexors, okay? And especially for a lot of dancers um, who struggle with low back pain or really cranky hip flexors, um, we don't wanna go doing V sits to kind of fire them up more. So again, I like to kind of train spinal flexion, deep core control, not necessarily just abs or snaps into V sits. Um, and it's just a way to kind of go a little deeper, work smarter, not harder, and kind of prevent any of the back gripping, arching, or gripping through the hip flexors, okay? So with a U-sit, um, or a teaser prep, as I like to call it, um, we're gonna start seated with our knees I'm bent. I'm gonna sit up on my sits bones. So here my back is almost arched or flat. I'm going to picture, same with when we're about to do cinnamon bun, a slight curl through the low back, almost like I'm being kind of punched in the low belly. And now I'm sitting not right up on my sits bones, I'm sitting just behind. So holding this little scoop of the belly, I'm going to start to curl back and see if I can hold my balance without, here's what will want to happen, my knees falling away from me and my back going into an arch. Again, it feels horrible even for me just to demo it for two seconds. So, little belly scoop, sitting behind the sits bones, fold the leg up, fold the other leg up, see if you can keep this slight roundedness through the back, squeezing the inner thighs together, and see if you can just hold. The more you kind of draw your knees to your nose, do you see how it's going to allow my back to stay rounded? Very important. If we start to get tired and fatigue, the knees will start to go away from the face. And again, it puts my back into an arched position. It's going to feel awful and you'll feel really grippy through here. So you're not going to hold for very long. Just start with three breaths, relaxing the shoulders, holding from the scoop, and then rest. Eventually, once we get more endurance with that, we can hold it for longer without feeling too grippy, working smarter, not harder. Maybe we see, can we just extend one leg? Can we extend the other leg? Maybe can we extend both? Again, keeping that scoop, that little roundedness of the low back, and squeezing the inner thighs, and holding that. This is full teaser. Now, say you're trying that and you're like, Danny, I still feel like I'm getting a bit of gripping. Here's a way to kind of take the legs out of it and train the core. First, you could practice cinnamon bun on the roller. Do that as a prerequisite. You could even do candy cane in standing. But if you want to practice lying down, and again, just trying to relax the legs, you can get a chair, 
Prop your heels up. So the chair is supporting the weight of my legs. So I'm basically in the same position, but I don't have to work so hard through here. Now I'm really going to work on curling, again, vertebrae by vertebrae, all the way down. And now I'm going to try to really curl up through here, just letting my legs rest on the chair. And again, I curl down. And then I use the belly to curl up. Maybe I could lift a leg. Curling up. Lift to the other leg. Curling up. But again, it's a way to train that spinal sequencing. Train that little belly scoop, that core stability and not totally feel grippy in the hip flexors, it's also gonna protect the low back, okay? So, try U-sits, not V-sits, um, but it's called a Pilates teaser. But again, start with cinnamon bun, kind of work your way up. This is kind of more advanced. It takes a lot to like hold up the legs without cheating or gripping. Take some practice. But again, think that little hint of belly punch so you're sitting just behind the sits bones and knees to nose to keep that curl through the spine, most important. We don't wanna to try to hold that with an arched back. It's gonna kill our back and our hips, okay? So happy teasering over Christmas and we'll see you next time on the soapbox. Thanks guys.